And welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for part four of our sub battle stream. The last hour that we have here. <laughs> so I have the nine to five um, lead on team chat right now. So what we're doing is I'm playing against subscribers here in chat the, um, for the whole stream. And so that's what we, we got going on to determine what deck I'm playing. I'm going to be spinning the wheel here. And yeah, I guess I, I did say that this is part four. So hopefully you checked out parts one, two, and three. Part one in particular, you know, I kind of explain the rules and everything of what's going on here if you missed that. But we'll continue on. So let's see what deck I got up next. I got Golgari Eternity. All right, there's a fun deck. That's a fun deck, that's for sure. Okay, so we're going to do a challenge match, best of three, here's our Golgari Eternity deck, if you haven't seen this one before. So this is, this is what we played on the last, on, uh, the last Throwback Thursday, Journey to Eternity, with our Golgari deck here. This one is pretty sweet. So here we go. Yeah, uh, I, I be, um, the streaming is, is some good amount of pressure. It really is. It, not everybody can, can take it because you're being constantly watched by, you know, hundreds of people. Um, and, uh, it's not something that, that everyone can do. It's, it is a little, little nerve wracking. Being constantly watched and judged by by hundreds of people, it's it's not just real easy. So I'm going to be trying to get to five land for Masker Girl, but that's pretty unlikely. This looks kind of like rotation proof. Mono red with having Jaya's greeting. Yeah, it's really just all about this the steamkin basically. If I can just hit land drops. One more I can have Golgari Queen. Hmm. I think we just go down to five. Trade here, play crafter. Oh, now I could go Gari Queen. Um, I think I play crafter though. So I'm thinking that I want to just tick up Gogari Queen. I don't want them to just be able to shock or, you know, like kill Gogari Queen super easily. I want to be able to tick this card up. Um, so I can start gaining life now. Um, All right, could have gone Cavalier of Night. But we're flipping Don't dwell the Journey to Eternity. To hey, Beaston, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. All right, 
So, y'all ready for the lockout? Sacrifices must be made. So they draw a card. So basically we could just do this the rest of the game and just make them discard their card during upkeep the rest of the game. You know, just play crafter keeps on going back or like during draw step. But of course I have the Golgari Queen in play that gets a minus nine Golgari Queen and then Fenlurker kills them. But I just kind of wanted like, so honestly it was a little better. It was a little, little better for me to get like the, the burglar rat back or like one of those things back. So I'd have the two creatures. So if their card was shock, they couldn't just shock my my one drop or my one one and so i would would have lethal like no matter what basically i guess they could shock Golgari queen but i just wanted i want to get the play crafter because i wanted to show the loop how we could just do that the rest of the game and just lock them out of their draw step <laughs> okay so mono red legion's end choop I'm gonna take out Massacre Girl. Take out a couple of journeys, maybe even all the journeys. This isn't really a journey matchup. Take out a Liliana. I'm not. I'm not sure if they have artifacts or enchantments to destroy. You know, like Frenzy. We didn't see any. Let's gonna go with this. We'll go one journey, one Lily. Oh yeah, I got I got uh yeah, I got pretty lucky with the flood there that Ezem had at the end of that game. Cause yeah, that could have easily been I was at five, you know, for a while. Could have like you know, I think three, maybe four draw steps. Yeah, I think like four draw steps could have easily been, you know, two burn spells. But, I mean, the discard stuff was, was pretty helpful because, you know, like, they discarded, like, Ezem discarded a Chandra, you know, discarded another burn spell or a creature or something, you know, make them discard a couple of cards. Spell Gorge are weird. That card's good. <laughs> Thanks, Kakashi. It's hard to cast non-creature spells when you have to keep on discarding them. All right, so getting that thing out before it grows more. <clears throat> and now we'll kill the Steamkin, and then Chupacabra can block all these 1-1s. One wow. I don't know what I'm doing here, but it's going to be fun. It's so immense That is... Here. What's your name? Really scary. Wow. Novice Pyromancer is awesome. Oh, I got punished for blocking the token and not the Scourger. I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about it. All right, fine. I'll take it. Mono red elementals, that is pretty sweet. Whoosh, up in flames.
I gotta draw like another play crafter to take out this Chandra. What's that smell? Oh no. Oh, it's you burning. Living in a monastery full of fire. So this friends? is like this is Chandra this is aggro Chandra tribal. Instead of control Chandra tribal. I like a lot of stuff they got going on. I'm not sure about this spell gorger weird. But I like the Steamkin, Daddy, Scampering Scorger, Ember Cat I just want to burn stuff already. with these things. The balance comes. Pain. Yeah, I have to do that so Chandra does an ultimate. Sit back and watch it burn. Dang. The Flame Fury? Imagine casting that with a Steamkin. We can do this together. Gotta find Playcrafter. No one knows the wilds like I do. It's not Playcrafter. I guess I could have branch walkered first and explored and then Playcrafter. I guess I and I guess I don't actually need it this specific turn. I guess we got one more turn. Training is so hard. Yeah, I, yeah, I think Izum's deck is rotation proof. Also, oh no. Stay back. I'm an Just gonna minus five the Cavalier of Night, or going for yeah, that's got to be the play, right? Emblem doesn't Emblem doesn't matter against Cavalier of Night. It's got to be minus five on Cavalier of Night. That all you got? <laughs> oh, that's smart. That's smart. I don't I've never done that play before. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a play I've never done before. All right, duress time for sure. Take out Fine, take out Liliana. And it probably should be Journey. But Journey's so cool. If we can get... If we can flip Journey and get the... You know, Enfy Playcrafter thing going, that's, that's pretty cool. Maybe it could be Legion's End. All right, it really should be Journey, but you know, we're here to have fun. We're keeping Journey. I guess I could see Choop. Yeah, I could have seen Choop. Ooh, do we hit our land drops? This hand is like perfect if we draw three lands in a row. Perfect's a stretch. But it's very good. I think that's that's still pretty risky.
All right, got a Scourger out of there. Yeah, no, I don't think there's any Frenzy. They just have all Chandras at the top end. Guess they didn't want to trade. But I said you gotta trade. Would have rather taken a four mana Chandra from them than the three mana considering I have the Golgari Queen. Alright, I'm going to do the correct thing this time. Get, get rid of the Scourger because the Legion's end. That really hurts. That was a great turn for them. That was a great turn. I didn't hit a land for Vivian. An unfortunate casualty. Come on, deck. Ugh, this Chandra is so hard for me to deal with. I just got Playcrafters. Let's light it up. And they got these 1-1s, one -one, so my Playcrafters aren't doing anything. No ultimate yet. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Ugh. GG's. <sighs> it seems fortune Why did I take out Masker Girl again? The wilds are my shield. Looks to be some pretty silly sideboarding taking out Masker Girl. It's over when I say it's over. And not not putting it in game two after seeing all these scampering scorchers, not putting it back in. I'm a survivor. Well, I still have my like my couple Cavalier of Knights. Sit back 
and watch it burn. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. I've always wanted to make a really big fireball. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit hard. Dang. Flood now, now. You can't stop nature. Keep on scrying lands to the bottom, right? Yeah, my last two turns have scried lands to the bottom also. Oh well. They got me. Good match. Felt like I could have sideboard better. But that was Early on, I, I felt pretty good the first couple of turns, but that, that turn five of shock your creature, play for that four mana Chandra, that was, that was the game right there. Yeah, GG's team chat picking up another one. Team chat is three away from tying this up. All right, who's going to be the next person to play? Type the word battle into the chat. If you want to continue team chats, Rally here. Got about 15 minutes left. Good games there, Ezem. I hadn't lost yet. How? How? What? It, what in that deck could possibly have me come back and win? There's. I have no removal for the Chandras. How like how am I supposed to possibly like there's nothing I can draw that I could win. There's I could I could have like I could stack my deck and draw exactly anything that I wanted. And I had no chance to win there. Not to mention the the ultimate Chandra that was gonna do seven to me to put me down to seven and also look at seven cards and attack with four others. I literally had no shot. All right, let's see who's up next. Let's keep this going. Kakashi. You got it, Kakashi. All right, Kakashi, send me that gamer tag. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel, see what deck I have up next. Ooh, another one we haven't looked at since the beginning of the format. Been going deep into the the deck list pile here recently. Mono red goblins. So yeah, Kakashi, send me that gamer tag. The last time we like we played this during the last sub battle stream, but the, like whenever this deck was made, though, you can see there's no blood suns. <laughs> this was before Field of the Dead was a thing. But yeah, let's get some goblins. Get some goblin ringleader. Okay. All right. Make sure you have it best of three. And here we go. Can team chat finish it off? I basically just need like one more win because we have time for like three, maybe four more. We got basically 40 minutes till 10 o'clock. So I guess those would have to be three fast matches. But if... I'm going to let... Chat, try to tie it up. First one to ten, basically. I don't have to play the deck as is. I could change it, but I'm just playing it as is. I guess it's not it's not 
yeah, like if I if there's something that I really want to change, I will, but I don't really mind it. All right, Temple of Mystery. Narc Amoeba. Akashi bringing the Sultai Dredge. I don't think I'd just play Chain Whirler here. Yeah, they could. Yeah, they could see what I'm playing if they want, but. Ooh, we got some spice here. But subs don't just watch the stream. That's. Alright, I got creeping chilled. I hope there's not a ritual of set over there. Well, that's not what my deck's about anyway. My deck's about attacking. Go bows. Go bows. I guess I don't really need to be too worried about Ritual of Soot whenever the game's over. But still, you never know. That Ritual of Soot could be mean. Um, the only thing... Nah, not much to do. Let's go. Yeah. Two mana haste war boss that also, that also has... That's also pumped up in power. You know, so that's also a three three and makes two twos. That's uh <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that was a turn five win. There. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what if what if instead of Warboss being a two one and making one ones and it has mentor, what if it was a three three and it makes two twos and it has mentor? Wait, what if it actually what if it has haste also? Wait, actually, three mana is too much. Let's bump it down to two mana. <laughs> yeah, this deck's just called Goblins. Could be mono red goblins, maybe. Either goblins or mono red goblins. Uh, what's the land in the sideboard for? It's because I have a lot of my sideboard cards are more expensive cards. I have a lot of like fours and fives in my sideboard, and so like there's there's times that if I do up my curve by bringing in some of those more powerful cards that I want I want to raise the the land count of my uh in my deck to um to help facilitate casting those spells Firebrand. The big, the biggest weakness to the Goblin deck, honestly, is the two mana slot. Like the three drops are awesome, the four drops are awesome. They have such good three and four drops. There's, there's just not two drops that are very good. That's the real big problem here with the deck. No, there's not a Goblin Planeswalker. There's like Chandra. Hmm. 
Thanks for showing up now, Ember Hauler. Instigator? Um. Oh, God. No, no, I don't have Goblin Instigator. I, I'm going. I was, no, I know what you're talking about. No, I'm going Ember Haulers and the other one that can sacrifice for colorless creatures. Oh yeah, like there's yeah, Duretti is one, but not I guess I guess I was taking the question in standard. Sorry, there's not a goblin planeswalker in standard. Never not turning sideways. I know I could keep the firebrand back, so if they make this block I kill the wall of lost thoughts, but nah. We're turning sideways. All sideways all the time. We're gobos. We're sideways. Ritual? Okay. Even better than Ritual. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. We got a game again. Kakashi staying alive. Block the Ember Hauler. There you go. Go good block, good block. Because otherwise Ember Hauler just sacrifices to do two damage. Okay, okay. Crater Maker doesn't do damage to the opponent. Yeah, Ember Hauler can. I guess, yeah, I guess I could have, I guess with the, the two creatures, yeah, I guess I could have just attacked with both. And no matter which way they block, if they block Ember Hauler, I sack it, do two to them. That's four. If they block the Crater Maker, then I just let the damage happen, do two, and then sack Ember Hauler and do an extra two. Yeah, sorry, Kakashi. I had really good aggro hands, and yeah, that's that looked like your tough match up there. <laughs> All right. GG's, though, Kakashi. GG's. All right. We just got, like, 30 minutes left. That was a quick match there. So who, who wants to be next? So if you're a subscriber, you want to play, type the word battle into the chat.
Hey, yeah, I'm g about to spend all this gold on Thursday. Hey, Hawkeye. We're going to spend all that gold. Is that it? Is that everybody? All right, well, let's get this going. Let's keep it going. Disposable hero. Oh, dang. I'm sorry, Miggy Moo. Sorry, I was trying to go fast. I had some other people join in. Sorry, no ceilings also. With it being the end of the stream, or towards the end of the stream. All right, let's spin the wheel. Can't decide, wheel decide. Hawkeye is like 12, I think. Maybe 11, 12, 13. He's right around there. Chandra Tribal! Yeah! Chandra Tribal, Hawkeye. Rotation proof Chandra Tribal. I, think I don't have like the other one left. We should have a bunch of Blood Suns in here. But oh well. We're going rotation proof to end of the night. Hopefully, Disposable Hero is not playing Field of the Dead. Alright, yep. GLHF Hero. Good luck. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. I got 26 lands in the stack for a reason. We're on the draw. Yuck. <laughs> so we're on the draw. I think we draw two lands. Main format's com Commander. Nice. Yeah, I definitely have some good good ideas for what for uh, mono black uh, for next for next format. I uh, the next set has a lot of good tools for mono black, also. Has seen my face and lived. Um, Good luck with your little duel. Empty your mind. Yeah, I think I think there's gonna be some good mono black tools for next sense. So if I would have hit land, I was gonna go land, add to Chandra's triumph, kill the prophet. But right now, Chandra's Triumph only does three damage. <laughs> Diva Vore said, called it. Says, when you need lands, Arena gives you a six drop. And then right after that, my very next draw step, of course, was Ugin. There we go. Thanks, Hero. I needed... Need that shuffled up. I was not getting lands there. Need that shuffled up. There are no lands over there. I guess come to think of it, if Hero just has Bedevil... And would kill Chandra. Then the Triumph would not kill the tri the Twilight Prophet. Wow, good read by me. 
So I didn't minus for mana to try to triumph. But yeah, I, I guess I don't have a specific... Ooh, it's a Jund deck now. Let's play this Chandra to look for a land drop. I'm the best fire starter there is. What's that smell? Perfect. Oh, it's you burning. No, I'd rather have this Chandra get bedeviled than than our mana adding Chandra. I am out of here. Ready to fight. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this magic thing. Okay. Sit so at that point, if if there was another instant speed removal spell for sh for the Chandra, I still had the one extra mana to shock. Uh, that's a lot of night activations on over there. All right, regulate this. Get four mana. So reach into that ley line Ugh. thing. I'm getting the hang of this magic thing. I'll just have Ugin kill this knight. I know more than you could learn in a thousand. So I don't have to worry about it being, you know, eight power or whatever, or eight toughness. I speak on interloper. Hot, 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 hot! Time for sparks to fly. I know who I am, and no one is telling me what to do. Is it just me? <laughs> no pressure. I'm guessing Hero just has creature removal over there in hand. That's a strength of Chandra Tribal, is just blanking creature removal. Chandra Tribal. All right, doesn't seem like we need Flame Sweep, but you never know. Maybe extra Ugin. War Boss is in here. We'll see. Maybe I shouldn't be cutting this much early removal. We'll see what happens. All right, on the draw, 26 lands. Yeah, we played a couple of people played some some tier decks. We played against like vampires and um, Nexus. But yeah, that's this is kind of what the sub battle streams about is bringing bringing cool brews. And so yeah, it's a lot of fun.
Yep, I got my jank decks. They got their jank decks. Splash. Oh. I don't think you'll be needing that. I forgot about Davriel. That card was played so long ago, like with that game, I just completely forgot they had Davriel in the deck. Wait, why did I just do that? I could have just played three mana Chandra and killed Davriel. That would have been much better. I could just have an extra Chandra's Triumph in my hand right now. And then also been playing Novice Pyromancer here. And dealt an extra four damage. Do you think Hero's got Elder Spell now hey, after Cyborg? These guys are great. <laughs> it's elemental, dear. What's her name? Hope not. Well, Theater of Horrors, you can pay four to do one damage to a Planeswalker. So Theater of Horrors really is Planeswalker removal. I guess it's a little slow. <laughs> I guess. Hey, these little guys are great. <laughs> Let's get stoked. Good, no other spell. When you understand reality, you understand I can't stay. I trust that I haven't given up on you. Fire. This is, this not is just gonna be bad for you. Ending. Don't worry. I brought company. I don't have like any direct damage over here, do I? No. Oh, there is an elder spell. Oh no. Oh no, Spyglass. No, Spyglass. All right, Acolyte of Flame down. The Theater of Horrors have been stabilizing here. They're stabilizing. Ooh. You know what card that I brought in? That would be really great to draw. Legion Warboss. Well chosen. Well, if we just draw a Legion Warboss. Wrong three drop. Ever truly lost. Come on, Arena. You can do it. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. There it goes.
All right, I think that's game. Get to dread presence all the time now. All right, so we got spyglass over there, bunch of artifacts. Bunch of artifacts and enchantments. I'm gonna play Bedeck over Coil. It seems like Bedeck kills all the things that Coil does. I guess Twilight Prophet. Yes, they did. They did kill the correct Chandra. I was I was hoping that they were going to be killing the other Chandra for sure. Yeah, it was a good play, because yeah, the four mana Chandra would be able to do like that minus ability and everything. Treasure map versus regulator. The battle of the artifacts. Only one of us can have Bedevil. No. You should name Regulator. Gotta name that Regulator. Whoa. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? <laughs> I mean, I did. Awesome. Yeah, I forgot about that. I, if Say hi to my fire if I would have just played that Chandra on turn three instead of the burn spell, remember, I would have had lethal. Uh, basically, I've never really played the other six mana Chandra. I mean, I already, I already have, I already have two really good six mana planeswalkers, and I don't know if I need the other six mana Chandra. I don't know, just never, never really tried her out. Consider this bridge burned. Burned, I tell you. Burned. <laughs> Tilt. The only reason to keep going towards six mana. I have all the four mana planeswalkers I could draw. <laughs> My army will envelop you. What a good mindless minion. Okay, so this should be over. But yeah, I should have won that game too. I really misplayed by not playing the three mana Chandra on turn three. Am I playing the burn spell for Duretti instead? Sorry, Hawkeye Davriel. Hawk, I didn't like that sneeze. 
Good help is easy to find in war. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kurtash. It was a fun sub battle day today, though. So much eye over there. I can do this. I can do that. Oh, hey. That's still worth it. Happy birthday, Kurtash. Yeah, happy birthday. The Chandra doesn't do anything. That Chandra does stuff. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best pyromancy student. Wow, that does kind of sound like bragging. Even though I said, even though I know you said you weren't bragging. We can do this together. Mm, I'm late to meditation anyway. GG's. All right, team chat with a really good comeback there. to end the sub battle stream here. I think I started out like eight and one, I think. And so, yeah, team chat had an awesome comeback there. Good games there, hero. So yeah, good, good matchup there. So a couple of reminders, we got the, the set review tomorrow. So getting up early one o'clock is whenever that's going to start tomorrow where we're going to go through every single card you know we may you know it may take eight to ten hours or so we're going through all the cards talking about how you can play them in standard so uh you know bring your ideas and everything there um yeah, you will steven you will for sure um so that's going to be st starting tomorrow at one o'clock and then as you can see here no stream tuesday i'm going to be uh kind of preparing for the 12 hour stream um taking a day off and preparing for that. And then we got the 12 hour stream with Throne of Eldraine starting on Thursday. And so, yeah, I'll be like building decks and stuff like that on Tuesday uh, for the new format. So awesome. Awesome. All right. <laughs> yeah. Glad, glad everybody had a lot of fun there. Um, oh, you're welcome. Wrangler. Yeah. Sub battle streams are definitely a ton of fun. And if you're watching on YouTube, really hope you all enjoyed this over there as well. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Like always hope you checked out the other three parts of the sub battle stream. And of course, make sure to check out the throne of Eldraine set review tomorrow. All right, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.